Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about reproduction of protozoa. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So protozoans uh, reproduce by two means: asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. So both are observed in protozoa. Now, first we will talk about asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is of four types: binary fission, multiple fission, plasmotomy, and budding. Binary fission. So the animal divides into two individuals. Two individuals. That's why it is called binary fission. Fission means division, and binary means two. so there are uh, four types of binary fission irregular transverse longitudinal and oblique okay irregular here cell division can occur along any plane this is the irregular binary fission here cell division can occur in this way in this way in this way so it occurs uh, along any plane that's why this is called irregular and it occurs in amoeba next is transverse cell division can occur along the cell's transverse axis along this way so better to draw like that like that this is the transverse axis and one cell becomes two this is found in paramecia next is longitudinal here cell division can occur along the cell's longitudinal axis like that in this way and one cell becomes two and the example is euglena and then it is oblique so cell division can occur at an oblique angle just like this and you can find this type of cell division in ceratia okay so these are four types of binary fission next we have multiple fission so from the name itself you can understand the fission means division and why multiple since here the animal divides into multiple individuals so multiple cells will be formed from one cell three types of multiple fission are observed here gametogony sizogony and sporogony gametogony so here male and female gametes are produced and this is observed in plasmodium so basically three types of multiple fission are observed in the malarial parasite plasmodia for example gametogony occurs here again sizogony here the resulting individuals are known as merozoids and we know that merozoids are feeding stage of parasite feeding stage of parasite and this is again observed in plasmodium next it is sporogony so here zygote undergoes multiple division to produce sporozoites and sporozoites are the infective stage of the parasite this is again observed in plasmodium okay so these are different types of multiple fission next we have plasmotomy let's see what is plasmotomy plasmotomy okay here a multinucleate parent cell divides into many small multinucleate daughter cells by simple division of cytoplasm without nuclear division so here is the parent cell or mother cell you can say and this cell has many nuclei here you can see red one these are nuclei and here this cell is getting divided 
and many daughter cells are found in this case i can see three daughter cells are produced and here cytoplasm of the mother cell is divided and daughter cells are generated but the nuclear division is not occurring here and this is found in opalina okay so this is over then we have budding what is budding so budding we all know that a new organism develops as a small outgrowth or bud from the parent cell suppose this is the parent cell and here uh, a small bud occurs like that and this bud will be detached from the parent cell and will be the daughter cell this is called budding and that is found in vorticella and budding is again of two types exogenous budding and endogenous budding exogenous budding from the name itself you can understand that buds form on the body surface that is exo exo means outside so bud occurs outside the body on the body surface just like this and endogenous budding so endo means inside so here buds form within the body so this is the uh, cell and here is the bud and uh, this bud will become the daughter cell this is the parent cell so this is called endogenous budding okay so these are different types of asexual reproduction next we will see about the sexual reproduction so sexual reproduction is of three types syngamy conjugation and automixy syngamy involves the complete and permanent union of two specialized protozoan individuals or gametes resulting in the formation of a zygote so in syngamy the zygote is basically formed and the zygote is formed after the union of two protozoan individuals or two gametes and syngamy is of four different types isogamy and isogamy hologamy and pedogamy so what is isogamy basically in this case the gametes are morphologically similar actually iso means same or similar so here the gametes are similar and this is found in monocystis then we have anisogamy so basically anisogamy means different so gametes are morphologically different in this case example plasmodium next is hologamy so here two mature individuals behave as gametes and fuse and this is found in copromonas and then we have pedogamy the fusing individuals are not adult over here these are young example actinophrey so these are four different types of syngamy next we have conjugation and automixy conjugation so conjugation is basically the temporary union of two cells to facilitate exchange of nuclear material so this is the cell this is the cell they will unite and they will exchange their genetic material with each other after this they will be separated again so this is the temporary union and the pairing gametes are known as conjugant so these two are known as conjugant and conjugant may be isogamous or anisogamous isogamous means these conjugants are of similar types and anisogamous means these conjugants are of different types so isogamous is found in paramecium and anisogamous is found in vorticella and the last type of sexual reproduction is 
ऑटो मिक्सी फ्यूशन ऑफ टू गैमेट ओरिजिनेटिंग बाय द डिविशन ऑफ द सिंगल न्यूक्लियस ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल सो हियर इज द सिंगल सेल सिंगल इंडिविजुअल इट हैज द न्यूक्लियस सिंगल न्यूक्लियस ओके नाउ दिस न्यूक्लियस इज गेटिंग डिवाइडेड एंड टू गैमेट्स आर फॉर्मड लाइक दैट and these two gametes these two gametes will fuse again to make the new individual this is called atomic sis and this is found in paramecium so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video